you don't want to learn Blender or Cinema 4D. And honestly, I get you. These programs feel like you're opening nicer control panels just to move a cube. And the funniest part is that you don't even need them if you're an After Effects artist. Because today I'm gonna show you how to build a clean, cinematic 3D scene directly inside After Effects. Completely without plugins. No Element 3D, no Red Giants, no Paid Tools. Pure AI. And I promise, once you understand how simple this workflow is, you are gonna run and recreate every 3D idea you ever had. But we are too scared. I'm not gonna waste 5 minutes talking about Before we start, make sure you subscribe. No, we are already in After Effects. First step, we need a 3D model. And uh, After Effects 24 finally lets you drag GLB files straight into your project like they are normal footage. So, go to Sketchfab. Here you can find literally anything. I'm looking for an old TV, so I found it. Download, then choose JLB, then unzip the files, then drag the JLB right into After Effects. Boom! It's inside your comp instantly. No plugins, nothing, just After Effects and After Effects. Now right click, choose new camera. You can leave all settings default unless you're doing something very stylized. And uh, before we move anything, up here you can switch between views. I'll hop into custom view so we can see the model from outside the camera. These three tools on the left are your move around like in a real 3D program tools. One rotates the camera, one pans it left and right, and the one zooms. And yes, I know they have official names, but nobody cares. What matters is that you can finally move around a 3D object in After Effects like a normal human. Quick announcement, I finally launched my Discord server and I'm building a full community for editors and 3D artists. There will be editing challenges, 3D challenges, tournaments with prizes and yes, even cash. Anyone can win, the first event is already happening in December, so don't miss it. And ok, back to work. Let's build the composition, start scaling the model, rotating it, placing it however you want. This part where there are no rules. After a minute of moving stuff around, here's what I got. Now let's switch into camera view. You can move the camera with the sliders or directly with the tools. One thing I always do, open the camera options and increase zoom. It tightens the shot and gives more depth. Now lightning. This is where the magic happens. This is the difference between my scene looks like garbage and yo this actually looks cinematic. Right click, new light, point light. Make it slightly warm, move it closer to your subject, set fellow to smooth, decrease the radius a bit and look what happens. Instantly the scene becomes alive. <laughs> now add an environment light with pure white color. This adds soft ambient bounce lightning. I'll add one more subtle light on the side to create contrast. In After Effects 3D, lightning is literally 80% of the look. Add more small lights and your scene gets richer, deeper, more realistic. Now have a full 3D scene, but it still feels too digital. Let's fix them. Depth of field, After Effects technically has some built-in depth of field options, but they're not always predictable or fast, so let's fake it using a depth scanner. Add invert, add levels, push the blacks, push the whites, and uh, make it look like a rough depth map. Close objects dark, far objects bright, now add an adjustment layer on top, make a mask around the background area and apply some Gaussian blur. If the wall image blurs, click this button. Now you can adjust levels on the depth map player to control exactly where the blur starts and ends. This is insanely flexible. And next, color grading. Add Lumetri color. Usually my loot pack is designed for s like footage, so to make it work properly, add a hue saturation before Lumetri. Decrease saturation a bit, bump up lightness to fake a flat profile. Now cycle through loots until you get the wipe you like. I'm choosing this one. Yeah, this one. Adjust exposure, contrast, highlights, whatever details you want. And now the last thing is glow. Since this is a no plugin tutorial, I should be using the default glow, but you already know I'm not doing that. I'm using deep glow, it just looks better. To make the scene more atmospheric, add a particle overlay on top, blend it with screen or add. And yeah, that's a full 3D scene in After Effects with no plugins. The scene itself took me like 20 minutes, 
editing this video took me a week and because of that I forgot to pay my rent again and my landlord says he's evicting me tomorrow. 